even though vitamin D is vital for our health, it's hard to overdose on it, especially because most of us are actually lacking in vitamin D. It may be extremely rare to overdose on vitamin D, however having high levels of vitamin D is definitely not something you want to experience, especially as it is a one-way ticket to nastier illnesses and diseases such as kidney cancer or liver cancer. Fortunately, we've done the research behind vitamin D, how it's an amazing vitamin in sustainable doses, how it travels around the body, and how an overdose will lead to high blood sugar levels and eventually severe diseases. Hello everyone, and welcome to Five Pillars Health, the channel where we show you the best ways to get healthy and stay healthy through easy and simple methods. As always, our holistic approach to health is based on the foundational five pillars of good health – sleep, hydration, nutrition, movement, and sunlight. Now, without further ado, let's dive straight in. Our friend vitamin D is derived from the sun and produced within our skin cells as a response to absorbing the sunlight. This occurs when ultraviolet B radiation penetrates the skin and ultimately converts a cholesterol molecule into vitamin D. Alternatively, you can take it orally as a supplement as well. Now, before our bodies can even use this vitamin D, it needs to be converted in our liver, otherwise it's basically useless. In the liver, vitamin D is first converted to its more active form known as 25-hydroxyvitamin D, which we'll call 25-HD for short, and this is precisely what we measure when measuring vitamin D levels. Nonetheless, this is not the final form of the original vitamin D, as it must still be converted to its more active form, 125-dihydroxyvitamin D, which we'll call 125-HD in the kidneys. 125-HD is the component that is specifically regulated in the kidney, and this is a crucial point to understand. If you have an abundance of vitamin D, then it will remain in your system. So that you do not consume too much, certain molecules may bypass the kidney and produce unregulated 125-HD, which can be a serious problem. This leads to something known as hypercalcemia, otherwise known as a huge buildup of calcium within your body. If you find yourself with high calcium, what you want to do is consume plenty of fluids such as water. Hypercalcemia can be mild or severe and temporary or chronic. In cases like these with an influx of vitamin D, it's more often than not that hypercalcemia will be experienced on a mild basis for a short amount of time. We know that calcium in your blood assists immensely by making your nerves operate smoothly. It assists with the movement of our muscles, it assists with blood clots and ultimately helps your heart out with its normal function. Besides this, to control the levels of calcium in your blood and bones, your body uses a few molecules known as parathyroid hormone and calcitonin respectively. Essentially, these are the gatekeepers to help increase or decrease the levels of calcium in your blood. Now, it's also good to mention that for anyone who overdoses on vitamin D, it may also lead to increased calcium levels in the blood otherwise known as hypercalcemia. Of course, it's best to know the symptoms to make sure you can spot the signs before it's too late. The main symptoms of hypercalcemia include frequent urination, heightened thirst, fatigue, bone pains, headaches, nausea, vomiting, constipation, a decrease in appetite, forgetfulness, depression, muscle aches, and overall body weakness. If for some reason you experience these symptoms, we highly recommend calling your medical professional as soon as possible to get it checked out. Quick break. If you haven't already, click that like button, push that subscribe button, and also flick that notification bell so you can be the first one to see our latest video of how we deep dive into healthy habits. Now, let's get back to it. We've spoken a lot about hypercalcemia, but let's bring it back to our initial topic of vitamin D overdose. So, what are the symptoms of vitamin D overdose? According to recent studies, when there is an increase in vitamin D in the blood, it can lead to vitamin D toxicity, which is a definite no-no for your health. The common symptoms are drowsiness, confusion, sadness, depression, stupor, and even coma. Alongside this, common issues around your stomach include anorexia, abdominal pain, vomiting, constipation, peptic ulcers – that's basically like a stomach ulcer – and pancreatitis. Besides these concerning effects, your body may develop hypertension and arrhythmias, which just means that your heart may not beat at a normal pace, nor will it pump out the correct amount of blood per pump. A few general symptoms around your body include polyuria, which is excessive urination, polydipsia, which is excessive drinking. It's also common to feel dehydrated and to feel an odd sensation when you urinate. This odd sensation relates to hypercalcuria, which just means that there is excessive calcium in the urine. 
The excessive calcium can also develop into nephrocalcinosis, which is kidney stones. Other symptoms associated with vitamin D toxicity include keratopathy, which is a disorder of the cornea, arthralgia, which is basically joint pain, and hearing impairment or loss. We want to make sure that everyone understands that we don't think that vitamin D supplementation is bad. On the contrary, supplementing vitamin D into your body is a good thing when appropriate, but it must be done responsibly, and you must ensure that your levels are monitored. It's best to ensure that when you visit your healthcare provider, you give them a list of your prescription medications, as well as a list of any supplements you're taking so they can give you the best advice for your body. Besides medical treatment, you can also decrease your vitamin D levels by stopping your vitamin D intake and restricting your overall dietary calcium, thereby minimizing your chance of having a vitamin D overdose. In all fairness, in order to overdose, it's shown across multiple studies that you'll need to take at least 60,000 international units a day of vitamin D over several months. As you can tell, this is definitely higher than the recommended dosage of 600 international units of vitamin D a day. Although 60,000 international units may sound quite high, to be frank, you can only reach these levels if you overdose on supplements, so it's best to make sure your vitamin D intake is regularly monitored to prevent any problems. What are your thoughts about vitamin D, hypercalcemia, and the thought of overdosing on vitamin D? Let us know in the comments. Think this can help someone you know? Please share it with them. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you want to be notified when our next video is out, hit the notification bell. See you in the next one. Check out our other videos for more insightful ways to get healthy and stay healthy.